Hello and welcome to Project Eden Part 2. Um, I call this one the Hydrogen Bubbler. So I've started to build a Hydrogen Bubbler and um, the reason I started with a Hydrogen Bubbler is that Hydrogen Bubbler is what I'm most insecure at building because I only built one long time ago and it didn't, it wasn't that good and um, I haven't really used one since, right? Because uh, it's so much easier to just clean out polluted oxygen with using puffs, like a puffed farm. Like I have one for my, my big base down here, right? And they just pump any polluted oxygen in here. Uh, the problem with puffs is that they eat the polluted oxygen. So they don't, they don't clean it, they just eat it and produce slime from it, which is of course very useful. And I plan to use these ones over here for that a bit later, but um, they don't clean the oxygen. That's what we wanna do, right? Uh, that is of course not a problem unless you want to produce oxygen by cleaning polluted oxygen. So, but because I haven't really made many of them, um, I, I'm kind of uncertain how much efficiency I can get out of this and also how to improve on the existing designs with, um, with the new material that we got to toy with nowadays, right? So, but I tried to do something that I will think will improve it, right? So first thing I have my uh, gas circulating here, right? I just started it up. So I have my gas circulating here. It's going out here and gonna get pumped back into the system over here. Um, and what I added that wasn't there in like the, at least my original design and it didn't exist back then was metal plates and temperature plates. So my idea is pretty much that the gas flowing through here will also keep cooling uh, the warming gas. The warming gas is coming in from here, right? So I will get some extra efficiency out of that. Um, now I built it so that uh, the coldest gas will be down here, of course, and then work, work its way up here. So this, this part is going to be the coldest part, right? Because warming flow is up here. Um, I have this little thing that I also hope will improve efficiency because here I got the brake, right? And the brake is pretty much a term sensor. Can I click it? Yeah, there we go. So it will actually, if it's below this temperature, it will shut off, uh, not the pump actually, but rather the, the gas flow here. So what happens is it will shut off this gas flow, but I have a NOT gate here. So when this one shut off, this one will instead become active. So the gas will actually keep circulating, right? And the reason for that is if, if it doesn't, right? If you just shut off the circulation here uh, by shutting off the pump, um, this part of the gas will probably lose in temperature because it's around all the, the oxygen, right? The warmer oxygen, a lot faster than the gas up here. Meaning this one will, won't turn active again as fast as it could if the gas kept circulating. So I hope that will also improve like a tiny bit of efficiency, right? Um, the reason I have it set to minus 178 is because of the um, condensation point of hydrogen and um, Five of these uh, will uh, lower the temperature with about uh, 70 degrees. So this will uh, give me about five uh, degrees of margin, right? I, I'm gonna see if I can actually tune it up to like max it out later once I got this running, right? So the other thing I changed compared to my previous design was that um, when I made it first time, I was pumping out the liquid oxygen with a liquid pump down here, pretty much situated over here, right? Uh, the problem with that is it's it's not really drift secure because a lot of times you had breakage in the pipe when pumping out the liquid oxygen because it went back to oxygen too fast, right, inside the pipes. So what I'm going to do instead is let it flow down here and here turn to oxygen again, I hope it will, and then pump it out as gas, which is a lot more secure. So what it is is pretty much all these tiles uh, are abyssalite, while these two are actually um, just sandstone tiles, regular tiles, right? And uh, here I plan to have about 20 degrees later on, but so I might, now when it's really cold, I might actually have to put a few more in. But the idea is to have a little bit of heat leakage in here. So I can experiment with how many tiles I need here to get an optimal result. Just a little bit of heat leakage, just enough to like pull it over the breaking point. Let's pull it over from, from minus, um, uh, minus 183 degrees to maybe minus 180, right? So I can pop it out as gas. Uh, and the way I'm gonna control so this gas pump does not pump out any, like it could just empty all of this, right? Just keep pumping and get out all the polluted oxygen before it turns that cold is, is this little thing. It's a thermal sensor set to minus 187 as well, about five degrees more than needed to, to liquefy oxygen. 
and what I've done is unless it's this code, right? Uh, it's this one won't really run. The reason for this thing is just to be able to turn it off and on manually, right? Um, so this one won't really run unless it's so cold here that any oxygen here will actually liquefy. As well, I hope that the the, uh, the surface tension of the uh, liquefied oxygen will create kind of a little water block here, right? Um, so this is pretty much it, right? Um, I'm gonna run it through and see if I can get it cold enough. Um, oh yeah, also I have uh, two, two, uh, two atmos sensors in here and that's to control inflow. I, I'm not 100% sure how much polluted oxygen, how much concentration is optimal. Uh, so if anyone has a tip about that or any other tip how improved it to improve this design, um, you're very welcome to share with me and I'd be really thankful. So I measured on two different spots just to get some kind of average, right? Um, so unless, unless uh, it's low enough concentration here, I won't pump through any because it will shut this um, this gas shut off, right? The reason for the gas valve as well is pretty much because I want to measure efficiency, right? So what I'm gonna try to do is tune this one once this is up and running, tune this one if it works as intended as this, right? I'm gonna tune this one until this one pretty much never shuts off, right? And that way I will know how much gas I can pump through this this thing. Uh, by, by by seeing how much uh, polluted oxygen or, or how much inflow I can have, right? Um, so this is the first step. The second step I will do is probably start working on my power plant that's going to be situated over here. The power plant is going to be based on, let's see down here we have it, this thing, uh, pretty much turning oil into natural gas and then different usage, right? I will try to, uh, this is not my design, uh, but I will try to improve on this design to make it possible to boil a bit more water. Also, I'm not using this one nearly to the full potential. I actually have it nerfed quite a bit. I have an um, optimization system that keeps it um, down for four seconds and up for, for five. So, uh, so pretty much it's got like at least like some 80% extra efficiency I can get out of the system if I just push it, right? Uh, the good thing with that is I won't put in a cooling system immediately to, to match it and use the heat from that to actually cool up this area to more uh, um, comfortable living conditions, right, than minus 20, minus 14 degrees, right. So uh, that's it for this episode and I think I'm gonna leave it as a cliffhanger, mostly because I haven't really gotten that far to see if this machine works, right, to the next video. Uh, and let, I'm gonna let this work while starting on the next project, right. right. A big thanks for watching, uh, cheers.